what's up survivalist optimal methin here and thanks for hanging out with me today and welcome back to remnants back here with another quick guide for you in today's video i'm going to show you everything you need to know about cooking with the barbecue campfire and the stove all right so the first item you can craft to cook with is the campfire you should be able to craft this as soon as you start your journey in remnants it's going to cost you five wood and three stone to craft this bad boy once it's crafted up you press e to place it and hold e to interact with it now you are going to need a fuel source like wood bark or sticks now you will get charcoal from it as well if you just leave it running it will produce the charcoal now you can cook several items in the campfire. You can cook up to two max at a time. Now, once you start cooking these items, you're gonna get an indicator here of how long it's gonna to take to cook these items up here. Now, raw meat will give you cooked meat and raw chicken will give you cooked chicken. Now, if you leave these in here long enough, they will burn. Now, each one of these items has its own benefits. You can eat these raw if you choose to. I highly uh, advise against that. Uh, you will not get sick, but it does take down your health, minus 10 points. And as you can see, this meat has burned. It will take away hydration if you eat the burnt meat, but if you're starving, you can eat it. So now we got our cooked meat here. Now with the meat, you can season this meat here uh, once you have the meat you will need some insects you can get insects and bushes from the desert and the forest biome also has bushes that you can get insects out of once you have these two items you can make seasoned beef with these items just type in season here seasoned meat's going to cost you one meat and five insects to make the seasoned meat this gives you 80 food and 10 health where the cooked meat gives you 65 and 5, and the chicken is 50 and 5. Now, a couple other items you can cook in the campfire is the corn. Just eating it raw will give you 10 food, 5 hydration. If it's fully cooked, it will give you 30 food and 5 hydration. Now, you can also cook the pumpkins in the campfire here. These are going to be 35 food, 25 hydration, and minus 15 towards sickness. Uh, so this is the best sickness uh, cure in the game at the moment. Um, the mint gives you minus 10, so keep that in mind. Pumpkins are rare, uh, but you can find these scattered around the map, so keep an eye out for those. They kind of look like melons sitting on the ground. All right, so the other items in the game that you can cook in the campfire is the corn dough and eggs. Again, you can cook two at a time in the campfire. It's going to take a little bit of time, but you can cook these items up. Uh, with the eggs, it's five food, five hydration, with the cooked eggs, it's 25 food and 5 hydration. Now the corn dough does take a minute to cook up, but it will give you bread. And bread is 50 food, no hydration with that. As you can see here, it's still cooking. It takes a little bit longer in the campfire to cook this up, but you will get bread out of it. Now the items that you're gonna to need to make the corn dough is going to be the corn, which turns into corn flour, and then you're gonna to need to mix the corn flour and the eggs to make corn dough. So for the corn flour, you are gonna need two corn to make one corn flour. And for the corn dough, you are going to need two eggs and five flour to make the corn dough. Now once you have the corn dough, you can cook it in the campfire, the stove, or the barbecue to make your bread here. And lastly, the last item that you can put in the campfire is going to be your bucket of dirty water. You just take your bucket of dirty water and throw it into your campfire and you will get clean water out of it. Now you can drink this clean water. It is 300 hydration per bucket. Uh, so you can fill up five of your empty bottles to get your clean bottled water here, which gives you 60 hydration and minus five sickness. 
All right, so that is it for the campfire. Let's move on to the stove. All right, so the next item you can cook with here is the stove. You can find this item out in the world, or you can find the schematic for it and learn it with a research kit or a recycle kit. Once you have learned it and able to craft it, you do need the workbench, and it costs you 20 metal frags and five stone to craft that bad boy. Now, once you have your stove crafted up, you can place it down and hold E to interact with it to get into it. You will need a fuel source like the wood, the bark, or the sticks, it will give you charcoal for it. Now you can use a cooking pot and a cooking grill, which you can find out into the world. And you can research both of these items to make them as well. Now you can cook corn in there. You can cook eggs. You can cook the corn dough. <clears throat> and you can cook the meat here. You cannot cook tomatoes, potatoes, and you can cook the pumpkins here. You can also cook chicken as well, and you can also cook the buckets of water. Now, the extra item that you can cook in the stove is the sugar cane. Now, you can put your sugar cane in here. You will need a pot for this. Uh, so once you have your sugar cane, it will cook it up, and it will make it into sugar, which you can use this for certain recipes in the game as well. Now with the stove, you can cook up to six items in this bad boy. So you just throw your six items in there. It doesn't matter what they are. You just throw them in there and you hit ignite. It will, And it will cook up six items at a time versus the campfire, which is only going to cook up two items. And the third item in the game that you can use to cook with is the newly introduced barbecue with the recent update that came out on the 26th of April. Um, and you can craft this bad boy up by either finding the item in the world or finding the schematic. Once you learn the item, you can use the research kit or the recycle kit to learn the schematic. Uh, it's going to cost you 15 frags, one spray can, and two wheels to make this bad boy here. All right, so once you have the BBQ crafted up, you can place it down, hold E to interact with it. Now, it does use charcoal as its fuel source, and you can put a cooking grill in here to cook with. Now, just like all the other cooking items, you can cook corn in it, you can cook eggs, you can cook corn dough, you can cook your raw meat and your raw chicken, you cannot cook tomatoes or tomatoes, and you can cook pumpkins in there. Now, with a barbecue, you can fill up all of these slots and cook food in them, but you are going to need empty spots for the cooked food, but you can take your buckets of dirty water and fill up seven slots and they will be converted into clean water. So as of today, you can cook these items in all three of these except for the sugar cane. The sugar cane does need the stove with the pot. However, you can cook the remaining items in either three of these, like the corn, the eggs, the dough, your raw meat, your raw chicken, and your pumpkins, and your water. Now, as of today, tomatoes and potatoes, you cannot cook yet. Uh, the developer is working on getting some more recipes to use these items. So we're able to cook up some meals with these. So keep an eye out for that. That's going to wrap up this quick cooking guide. I hope you found this guide informative. I hope I gave you enough information on the campfire, the stove, and the barbecue, and the items that you can cook in them and what you cannot cook. Make sure you guys comment down below if you guys have any questions. I'd love to help you out the best that I can. Now, if there's something that I don't know, I'll leave a link down in the description of the Remnants Discord server. Make sure you go check it out. There's a lot of people in the community that would love to help you out in any way that they can. But as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos. And I thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later. Until next time, take it easy.